want to talk about today, guys? Well, we're going to talk about what was in this box because when I filmed an unboxing a little bit ago, something went wrong and it just didn't come out. So the stuff's already out of the box. But this is a box of stuff that came from Russell at Artisan. So you guys know what to do. Turn down the volume. Here comes a little bit of music. here just wanted to throw it out there so that I, future mike always forgets if you haven't checked out the merch store, there's a lot of stuff in there i got sweatshirts i got t-shirts i got coffee cups there's a link in the description if you want to support the channel all the sales go to the merch store and providing the stuff but then it also i get a portion of the of the take of it so like i said merch store sweatshirts t-shirts coffee cups they're all really nice now back to future mike so he can tell you about a knife uh, yeah, there was three items that came in. As you can see, they've already unboxed. I've already looked at them. The footage that I did when I did the unboxing did not come out right. But playing behind me is Z Frank. If you want to see some of the funniest nature documentaries that I swear if I saw somebody comment on this one time, if high school documentaries were this entertaining, like high school lectures on animals and stuff, everyone would be smart. This show is, this channel is hilarious. This guy is incredibly funny uh the one i recommend is the ostrich mating dance video that he does it's amazing so at any rate uh russell sent me three knives uh we're gonna take a look at them i don't want to spoil anything we'll look at them from now up above but there's two cjrbs one artisan and they're all pretty much stuff that i wanted to get a chance to look at so let's go ahead and we're gonna look at them i already had them out of the box so we're just gonna look at them individually down at the counter so just gonna do like a, a, a fast three knives first impressions so all right guys meet you down there all right guys so uh like i say in the intro and the outro both this is the you know this was kind of supposed to be an unboxing but the footage never really worked out right it didn't take the audio was screwed up the video was actually missing on a couple of files so i just decided to reshoot this so what we got in from russell was the Celax, which is new fix played by dylan mallory this is the uh uh scoria folder which is a lot like it's like a thin feldspar i guess uh, um it is what kind of reminds me of um and we got the Cosidor, which is the the small little warren cliff fixed blade a lot of people were like oh that would they make a folding stonefish or a sea snake and i know this this knife's been in thought process before that so it's way different so let's go ahead and we're gonna put all this stuff away we're gonna take a look at each one of them individually real quick it's gonna be like a fast three knife reviews um, it's just going to be a fast three first impressions. So let's go ahead and get this stuff out. All right, guys, special day of filming here. I'm starting this over. Here we go. So anyway, Russell sent me this one. This is the one I wanted to see out of all of them. This is the one I was really curious about. This is the Celax. This is Dylan Mallory's new fixed blade design. Um, one, of the, one of them. This is kind of a kitchen knife-esque, uh, but it does come with a sheath. Now, this is not the one I'm going to be, because all these knives are going to be giveaways, just so you know. This is not the one I'm going to be giving away, because as you can see, so there was some damage to the sheath, um, either in packaging or in shipping, um, that forced the knife way up inside the sheath, and, and now the, the retention isn't quite where I want it. It's, it's fairly... It's fairly loose. It will actually fall out, but that's okay because this knife is probably going to get utilized mostly in the kitchen. So, yeah, I was really curious about seeing this. I like this. Um, the first impressions on this is it's really comfortable. It's nice and thin. Is it kitchen knife thin? Uh, it depends on the kitchen knife, um, but I haven't tried it yet. Handle is just about perfect, and it is comfortable. If you were going to carry this as a fixed blade, um, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. Like in the field. It's kind of outside of the scope of large, but if you were carrying this as a light, all-around duty knife that you could also use as kitchen tasks if you were out in the woods uh, camping, yeah, I think this would be great. It is robust enough you could use this out in the field, but yeah, really attractive, really comfortable. First impressions, um, once I get the, the new one in that has a sheath that is uh, not been damaged, um, we'll give it a full review, but it does come with the, the Atwood cord um, 
for a for a neck knife if you wanted to do it that way but you could always use this to lash it to your gear or lash it to your pack um so yeah nice nice little fixed blade i i think this is going to work really well in the kitchen i'm going to give it a shot i have to make supper tonight because as i said my wife uh, if you saw the live feed that I did earlier today, so you guys will probably see this next week sometime. Um, we're debating whether my wife has to go to the emergency room, and so I am going to be the one cooking supper. I'm going to give this a shot in the kitchen, see how it does. This is in ARRPM9. It's a steel I like. I like the overall blade profile. I like it. It's a, it's a good-looking knife. Um, as a carry fixed blade, I have to kind of see how I feel about that, so... Let's go ahead and put that away and look at the next the one. The next one that I was curious about seeing, so like I said, I'm doing these in the order I wanted to see them uh, by level of curiosity. This is the Cosidor, and a lot of people were trying to tell me, they're like, oh, look, they, they ripped off the um, sea snake design. I know they reached out to me to, to ask if I was okay with this because of the similarities of blade shape. But, if, I mean, it's not even really that similar in blade shape. It's a lot thinner. It's got an overall profile is different. It's got a, a, a more of a curvature on this knife than mine. The whole knife has a full radius curvature. And this knife actually was in development before my knife came out. Great big pivot. It does have some real attractive points to it. Like I like that, um, I like that uh, Jade G10 and pocket clip combo. That looks really cool. It gives it a really cool aesthetic. What you guys can't see is that that blue is kind of a, a higher voltage blue. So it's almost the same as the pivot collar at one angle, but when you change it, it kind of gets purple. Can you see what I'm saying? It's almost, it's almost pearless. It's almost like uh, prismatic where you get a different color at different angles. Pivot collar. The action on this is really cool. The only thing that I see on this is like, I I wish that that was a little bit more scalloped out right here so they get in there. That's what I'm seeing right now. Action's really nice on it, though. Uh, no lock stick. Comfortable package. I had it in my pocket a couple times, um, and it's not got too much pocket clip tension. Attractive. It did come re. This came really sharp. Like, this is aggressively sharp out of box. Sorry, guys. A lot of traffic today on Friday. Um, it's like 3 o'clock. I started trying to film earlier, and I've had so many problems. Um, but yeah, nice, nice knife done in ARRPM9 in hand. I, you know, I'm not hundred percent sure yet. I mean, it's comfortable in hand, but it feels unusual. I'm not going to say it feels awkward. I'm not going to say it feels bad. It just feels unusual to me. And I think it's cause it thins out so much back there. There was another knife that I had, um, that did that. That was so thin back at the hand. It wasn't uncomfortable. It just felt odd. It doesn't feel like it's going to come out of my hand. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. It just feels unusual, but I like the aesthetics of it with that nice radius to it. So there you go. That is the Casiador. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the last one. So here we go. This is the Scoria Folder. Now this is an attractive knife. I, I would say it's kind of like a thin feldspar is basically what you got here. This is comfortable in hand even though I want to say it feels like it's too thin, but then when I hold it, it's it's not. It's one of those weird, I think that the shape, it's it's like the Cosidor. It just feels different in hand because it's thinner. And I think it's because I'm used to the Feldspar that I had carried for a long time. When I look at it, I'm expecting it to feel the same. Uh, black G10, um, silver pivot and collar. I like the way the G10's been done. Titanium pocket clip and black pvd coated blade and this is also in ARRPM 9 i like the ARRPM 9 steel i'm not gonna lie to you guys i say it all the time if you're looking for a, a knife in a budget steel that has got a lot of bells and whistles ARRPM 9 is not bad it takes a good edge um if you if you want something where you're going to have something that sharpens relatively easily holds that edge relatively well but where it really shines is on the maintenance like you can strop an ARRPM 9 blade on newspaper, even if it's fairly dull and have it come back to scream and sharp for a long time before you have to put it on a stone. That's an attractive blade shape too. And yeah, I like, I don't know. It's, it's just, like I said, it's just like this one. I, I can't, I can't say it's not comfortable, but I also can't say that it is comfy. You know what I mean? 
Uh, it's just got a, an unusual feel in hand with it that much thinner than the original feldspar that I had. Um, so yeah, big flipper tab, nice scalloped out area to get in on that, uh, on that, uh, lock, uh, the frame lock or the liner lock. I mean, and this is another one of those knives where you don't see the liners except at the lock. And with it being black, you see it even less. Uh, I like that a lot. That's that's a, that's a good feature. It's an attractive feature where you don't see any of the liners, even though they are there. Even the liner lock. All you see is just the, the actual lock area of it. Thumb studs. Yeah. I, I'm digging this. We're going to put this in pocket soon. This is really light too, guys. Super, super light because if you look, there's some weight reduction milling that has been done in there. So, yeah. So let's go ahead. God, I keep bumping the camera too. Today's just not been a good day for filming. Um, let's go ahead and we're just gonna put these here like this. Probably get that as a screenshot and for the thumbnail. And let's go ahead and let's meet up and do some final thoughts that I've already filmed like seven times. <laughs> the seventh time um, that I'm filming this outro because something has happened every time. I'm trying not to get frustrated because it definitely comes through on the videos when I get frustrated. But what I was saying, and all these was, um, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I've had so much fun. Today was kind of a fast three. Uh, the unboxing footage just didn't didn't come out the way I wanted it. Didn't it just didn't work? So basically, what we did was just kind of a first impressions. Of these three knives that that Russell sent me: the the Scoria, the Silax, and the Casiodor. And I, I like all three of them. They're going to be done as giveaways once Russell sends me the replacement for the Silax. Um, and so you know, if you want to support the channel. I would love it. Just give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down and sharing the videos does help. But if you want to support the channel financially, there is a link down below where you can do it. You can get into memberships. I have multiple tiers. Um, speaking of memberships, there is a giveaway going on this month of August for the premium and baseline tier members. This is the CJRB um, Crag. This was the Amazon exp uh, exclusive with a black coated blade, carbon fiber and a red carbon fiber scales and a red pivot collar. So if that's something you guys want to get in on, that's fine. If you just want like a specific video, you can drop what's called a super like. Um, it's like super chats for a pre-recorded video. And other than that, I have a bunch of affiliate links and stuff down below. I always save this for the end of the video. That way I'm not throwing so much up front. And uh, you've got the affiliate links and everything down there in the merch store. And just a heads up, there is a chance there might be an exclusive item coming to the merch. Well, not exclusive, but an item coming to the merch store. Um, that is a knife that I've designed that a lot of you have requested. It doesn't look like I'm going to find anybody that can do it. I may just have to pony up the dough and get that knife done uh, via OEM and offer it to you guys through the merchandise store. I'm going to try and do it at a uh, at a uh, affordable option, uh, and it's going to be branded with my logo only. So, um, guys, that's all I got. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section if you would, please. It, it makes it difficult to moderate it. Uh, for me and Nico and, and the mods uh, and other than that, if it's your birthday, happy birthday and I will see you guys in the next video.